I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> the pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. And you literally just said that right to his face. Uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. You can, um, you, you, you can expect, like, each time you free one of the, uh, other characters, you, you can expect that Moneybags is gonna feel some pain. But anyway, let's get into Sheila's Alp. Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Hiya, Sheila. While you are gone, a bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. Hey, yeah. Now, Sheila is basically Mario, because she can triple jump, like this. Oh no, oh wait. Why was I thinking it was a triple jump? It's a double jump, but she goes really freaking high. Oh, hello. And ran into me there. And of course she kicks as her main attack. get up really steep cliffs like this one with your double jump. Press the X button to jump, and press it again exactly when you hit the ground to do the double jump. Once you've mastered it, you can go anywhere you want. I don't know why I was thinking there was like three parts to her jump. Also, yes, you can double jump infinitely if you time it correctly. I did it there, but it's basically like this. Ah, home at last. Here, I was saving this to make an omelette, but I think you deserve it more. Also, I know that crack looks suspicious, but you can't break it. There are some walls she can break, though. One of them 
being this. Well, that's not a wall, but I mean, she can break stones. This next guy is a wuss. You go ahead and take him out. We'll get you back. Kind of already did that. I don't recall if there's any breakable walls in this level, actually, but there are some breakable walls in some levels. Although, she's also not the only one that can break them. Spyro can also break them. This next guy is a wuss! You go- Oh, he says the same thing. A joke takes his egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. Oh, don't do that. We won't be able to 100% the game then. I didn't get damaged from that, but I ain't complaining. Now, these little mushroom houses that I'm going to be destroying now, these are actually um, enemy generators. You guys ever played Gauntlet or Gauntlet Legends? It's kind of like that. So you gotta destroy all of them to stop the enemies, otherwise they will infinitely spawn. And since these are infinitely spawned enemies, they don't drop gems. forget how to control a character or vehicle, just go to the pause menu and select help. Appear to be missing 24 treasure. Oh. Is it all in here? I think it was. There we go. Thanks for the help, Sheila. You can have this egg I found in my house. Now, the exception to the characters leaving their world to help you thing is um, in the character, like, in the, um, like, what do we even call these? In the, um, 
non-Spyro character levels. Um, it's actually the character in question that, um, yeah, that goes into the world. Ooh, look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussycats. Thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this! <laughs> Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say... Is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? Anyway... Uh, yeah, to put what I was saying in much more simpler terms, like, in this case, it's like, instead of one of the, uh, goat guys coming into the world, it's actually Sheila herself. Actually, we can go, um... I can go show you guys what I'm talking about before we go into the next level. We go in here again. Yeah, you'll see they're gathered in here. This is a balloon that will take you to a new land, but we can't use it until you bring back one person from each of the five worlds. Basically what I've already explained, but yeah. See, there's a hot air balloon here, and once you've uh, brought all five characters here, then we'll be able to go fight the boss and move on to the next world. <laughs> 